Alright. Welcome to part three of my let's play of The Simpsons Hit and Run for the PlayStation 2. Now, by by the power of listening to the playback, I have turned off the vibrations and I have also closed the window. It is despite the fact that it is half past nine PM, still absolutely roasting in here and but that dog was really loud. So yeah, I turn the volume down. Alright, what have you got for us this time, Marjorie? Homie, you're late for work. And today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. Ah, you'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me. Lenny. Strange decision. Only Lenny can help you. Well, I guess that's the sort of thing that Homer would rely on. He can't just go to work, he has to rely on Lenny. Or somebody else. So, we technically haven't started the mission yet. Instead, we just have to go to a new location. It is one of our many drives to Krusty Burger. This time it's the one by the cemetery. And we may notice outside the pickup truck. Uh, we actually, there are loads of chicken feathers coming out. Some vehicles do leave behind something as they drive along. In this case, it's uh, chicken feathers, the plow king is snow. Um, or later on, there'll be one that's giving out money that we can't use, by the way. But, um, yeah. So let's talk to Lenny. What does he have to tell us? Hey, Homer, how about a breakfast churro? No time. Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More <laughs> breakfast churros for Lenny! I'm gonna need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm gonna take him out. I wonder if Barney still has the Plow King. What the hell's going on with Homer's feet during that? That was very, uh, weird. But yeah, we can't quite start the mission just yet because to complete this mission, you will need the Plow King. Purchase it from Barney at the gasoline station, although it doesn't tell you which one, for 150 coins. Use phone booths to access vehicles you already own. Yes, well, we don't already own it, so let's go and get the Plow King now. This is one of the missions that requires you to use a car. I believe level 4 is the only le level in the game that doesn't require you to do this. Whenever you find like a regular character who is one of these above his head, that is when they are selling a car. Level 4 is the only level, as far as I can remember, where you don't have to do this. Okay. Take what you want, sexy leprechaun! Just don't shoot me with that dark gun! Oh. Whatever. Clearly Barney's drunk. As usual. No burps, though. But yeah, level 4, I believe, is the only level where you don't have to buy one of these vehicles. Thankfully, we got plenty of money. So now we're purchasing what's one of the fa what sorry, what's one of the slowest cars in the game, but also one of the strongest. So our mission now is office spaced. Destroy Smithers' car before he can get to the power plant. So it's in a way, it's a race. At the same time, we're also trying to. Uh, it's also our first destruction mission. And yeah, this thing goes really slowly, but. It's a tank. So it's steering is really quite hard and it's slow, but it makes up for it with pure strength. It actually makes it very easy to blow up cars, which does give you quite a lot of coins. Unfortunately, it also fills up your hit and run meter a lot. These big, big vehicles like a school bus might take a bit longer. What is that, a school bus, too? That's like shit. Springfield Elementary only has one school bus. Which we'll be seeing later on. In fact, it's a car we get. And it looks nothing like that. But yeah. Our first destruction mission. These are easily the best ones. And this is all about how hard you hit the car. And at what speed. So, you mean, if, you can, if you're able to hit a car that's going in the opposite direction of you, like I did just then, you hit the front of it, that's the best time. They can run into the other vehicles and destroy themselves. As you saw just then, if you're able to ram into it at the same time, you can do even more damage. I personally, for a mission like this, 
Um, I'm going to try and let Smithers go on a bit because I like these missions. I like them to last some time. Because really, although it states you need the Plow King and your mission won't technically start until you have it, the timer doesn't occur and the timer doesn't start until you've gone into your car. So really, you can start the mission with the Plow King. Then you can go over to a phone booth and select something else instead of the Plow King, and you'll still be able to uh, begin the mission. So if you want to maybe to have this mission last a bit longer, because the Plow King is really overpowered compared to this, and we were this is not. This is not looking good considering I have to get this car later. But um If you want something else other than to use something else other than the plow king, maybe you want to use a weaker car. Or you, okay, he destroyed himself. You wanna make the, the mission last a bit longer? Pick a weaker car. Where's all this snow come from? Cause I don't see any snow. It's stated that it's currently October. This game takes place over the course of a week. I used to think that it took place over the course of about two days, because when you look at the, the, the times for each level, you can easily believe it was. Because level one, this this clearly takes place in the morning. You know, Lisa's just left for school. Homer's got to go to work. Level two, I'm think takes place in the afternoon. Level 3 looks as though it's either taking place at sunset or sunrise. And then level 4 is at night. Level 5 is looks like it's early it's early in the morning. Level 6 looks pretty similar. And then level 7 is Halloween night. So you, I, I used to think this game took place over like the course of a day or two days. And we're, we're in the morning, then the afternoon, then the evening, then night, then early morning, and then later morning, and then just the following evening. But no, if you, when you look at the um, uh, the pause menu, uh, this game, the e not the pause menu, the loading screens for a new level, uh, it does show that it takes place, each level takes place over a new day. I guess I should have realised that by the fact that, A, there's a new newspaper being posted every few hours, and B, the fact that there's a date on the newspaper. But for some reason that never tapped into my mind. But anyway, Emma's office. It took me ages to find the first time round. Because it, it's not exactly all that obvious. How can I sleep with that camera? Oh, sexy girls could be watching me on the internet. Stupid cameras. You should be smashed. I'll destroy you at your power source. <laughs> Not sure what that brick looking thing is. But yeah, uh, Big Blind blind Big Brother. You can guess where the titles come from. This is actually one of the very few on foot missions. It is one of only two in the entire game. Destroy all the power couplings before time runs out. Mmm, cake. Yeah, if you park, if you park the car there, it will destroy it for you. There's, the things technically aren't there until the mission starts, then you exit the office. So I don't know where all these things were a few seconds ago. I always used to think these things have faces as well. I mean, they don't. It's clearly the. Uh, just the dials, but I always used to think they had faces. I was really young, okay? The Simpsons Hit and Run was one of the very first games I actually owned. When I got my PS2 for Christmas of 2004, I want to say? It was one of the games I got with it. It was this along with... I'm trying to remember the games now. I think one was Finding Nemo. Uh, one was Sonic Heroes. I don't remember what else there was. I think Burnout 2 might have been one of them. Which I didn't really play a hell of that much of. Because then Burnout 3 came along. And uh, that was... That was something else. Oh god, it's the inanimate carbon rod. I don't need you in my life. Uh, where is it? There it is. 
Uh, there's a few tricky bits of platforming here, but for the most part, it's a very easy mission. The timer is no problem. Because that's it. Yeah, let's go for a nap. Haven't we still got like three more missions after this? Finally, I can get some sleep. Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. Ow! I always love that line. By the way, here's a Homer Scorpion farm. I, I can never tell if I think they are moving, but I can never quite tell. I still don't know what this brick's for. Is it even a brick? I can't see what it is. Right, final gag. Oh boy. Uh, Bart did it. You know what? Let's change our costume. What have I still got? I believe there's still a wasp camera somewhere. Oh, two. There are two wasp cameras, but where are they? And we still got one collector card and one bit of clothing. I know where one of the wasp cameras are and where one of the clothing and um, that collector card is. It's a bit further on. Ooh, just missed that. So let's head to the Stonecutter's Tunnel, which for some reason is through the power plant. By the way, this stuff is completely harmless. So you don't need to worry about it. Oh no, they're both here. Even better! Activating all the gags and destroying all the wasp cameras doesn't do anything. The only thing that you actually get... The, the only objects that actually give you anything are the collector cards. Which we'll see in just a moment. But yeah, this is a Stonecutter's Tunnel. I think it's even called a secret tunnel, but everyone knows where it is. It's like in The Simpsons Road Rage. Can you take me to the Stonecutter's Lodge? You know, it's supposed to be a secret. Everyone knows where it is. Shut up. Ooh. I don't know. Alright, this collector car can be a pain. And it's all because of the freaking camera. Camera is not your friend for this one particular collector car. So you need to jump up here. Double jump and we got it. It's our attachment from the Stonecutter's Lodge. New bonus trap game and new bonus game trap unlocked. So if you're on the main menu, you may have noticed that little Skeletrix thing. With a car zooming around it. That is your bonus tracks. They're pretty much a little overhead races where you can go around a little area of the level. They're multiplayer, just by the fact that the back of the game's case does say it's a single player only game. But no, they are multiplayer. But it's overhead, and I don't like them at all. So, uh, it's really nothing to bother with. Anyway, I want to change my outfit, and buy my last outfit as well. Thank you, Emma. I really wanted to know that. Now I have a wedgie. I believe... I think the school is a location where you can... Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> you heard nothing? Damn pollen cow. Must be the hay fever season and I freaking hate hay fever. What's here this time? Okay, we see we got Burns and Smithers. Stealing something. What the hell is that? We're either stealing it or putting it there. Must be food for the school cafe. Yeah, we can talk to Lisa. Let's change our outfit. Let's get our chosen one outfit. I know we've just been to the Stonecutter's Lodge. In fact, let's let's take a look at our um, collector cards. We've seen one of them. Cram juice from the city of New York versus Homer Simpson. When given a choice between crab juice and a certain surge, uh, sugary soft drink, Homer chooses the crab juice. Several cans of it. Unfortunately, there's no nearby bathroom. Yeah, for some reason, Homer doesn't like Mountain Dew. 
I don't think we even have Mountain Dew in the UK, so I don't even know what it is. New Yorkers are hellhole. You know how I feel about hellholes. That you can't judge a place you've never been to. Yeah, that's what people do in Russia. But we all know this thing. The super hot pepper. The insanity pepper from the mysterious voyage of Homer, which officially is titled in its um, Spanish. I'm not sure. Grown in the jungle primeval by inmates of a South American insane asylum. These mercilessly hot peppers are the fuel for Homer's mystical journey to find his soulmate. What's that smell? Onions? Chili powder? Cumin? Juicy ground chuck? It's chili! Oh god! I'm missing the chili cook-off! I'm missing the cook-off! What's going on right now and I'm missing it! We have uh, a Spy Mouser 2000 from Brother Can You Spare Two Dimes. Homer's Dream Recliner, purchased for him by his long lost brother, Herb. I can't be to wait for that. Marsh, there's an empty spot I've always had inside me. I tried to fill it with family, religion, community service, but those are all dead ends. I think this chair is the answer. The Patchment from Homer the Great. The ancient and revered artifact that is the most sacred to the this is most sacred to the secret order of the stonecutters. Used as a bib and hanky by Homer, also used to clean his ears. Why don't those stupid idiots let me in their crappy club for jerks? I saw weird stuff in that place last night. Weird, strange, sick, twisted, eerie, godless, evil stuff. And I went in. The inanimate carbon rod from Deep Space Homer. Homer's greatest rival at work. The inanimate carbon rod first beat him out of the em for employee of the month and was then credited for saving the space shuttle crew upon re-entry. Stupid carbon rod. It's all just a popularity contest. It's a damn popularity contest for you kids. And Mr. Spuckle Box. Marge we trust. The mascot for a popular Japanese clean product that just happens to bear an uncanny resemblance to Homer J. Simpson. Technically we now know his middle name is J. Get out of my what? Get out of my way, all of you. This is no place for loafers. Join me or die. Can you do any less? Right, there's nobody here watching this who's Japanese. He's like, do. I'm so sorry. I don't even remember him saying that. So I'm just going to ignore it. But yeah. You look a lot fancier now. Facts. Who holds back the electric car? We do. We do. Now, Lisa's in the school, but generally she'll be driving this car. For some reason. I mean, this is her car in the Simpsons Road Rage. And... Homer, your hat is clipping through the, the roof. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever driven this car as chosen one Homer, but his hat's clipping through the roof. There's a wig and stuff in the back of this. Yeah, this is the fastest car that you get in this level, but it's also quite weak. And it makes a rather unique sound. I'm guessing the fact that that's because it's electric. Ow. In fact, I think this thing's appeared in two episodes of The Simpsons, and it looks rather different in both of them. I could be wrong. There might have been another electric car, but I'm sure there was another one. Like, two episodes that it was in. Ugh! Sometimes they are smart enough to dive out of your way. Not all the time, though. Alright, well, from this point onwards, it's all just missions. It's back here. Yeah, Maggie's swinging. She'll do that endlessly. Alright, but now it's time for something a little bit different. It's an actual cutscene! 
famous bearded cartoon creator incarcerated in a Peruvian jail. In other news, local citizens are outraged over the discovery of surveillance cameras throughout the town. We go now to City Hall, where Mayor Quimby is fielding questions from an angry mob. These miniature cameras are an outrage. Spying on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, where is the sexy footage? In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. Marge, that black van is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Okay. Thank you, Marge. I really wish I knew where I was in the recording. Because I can't freaking see. For some reason, it's not showing up. It's recording, but I don't know how long it's been recording for. Anyway, Flowers by Irene. Investigate and follow the black van. Don't let it get away. Maggie's still going. <laughs> and we're suddenly back in our regular outfit. They're not real, so. If you jump on the roof of a car, you can get into it a lot faster. If, there is, if there's a different character driving the car and you try and get in on the front door, they will moan at you, saying, like, saying, uh, other side. Yeah, this is our first chase mission, and honestly, these are my least favorite. Because you're not doing anything while following them, yeah? You have to make sure you don't go too fast. These are boring. The thing is, they can do whatever they want, but they don't have any hit and run. And if they ram into you, too bad. You're the one getting blamed for it. But yeah, I like the music, but uh, that's all this mission's got going for it. Thankfully, this one doesn't take very long. There's one particular mission. We don't get to it until level 6, and it's one of my least favorite missions in the entire game. Because it's another chase mission, and it goes on forever. It's unnecessarily long, because you're just going in, you're going in circles. Whilst trying to keep up with a car that's going a lot faster than it should be going. For the car than it is. I don't know why I'm going this way. I can't make that for one thing. Ah! Ah! I can't do home the scream. Yeah, you need to make sure that green bar doesn't become empty. If that green bar becomes empty, it's a mission fail. If you fail a mission, I think it's five times, you are given the option to skip it. I won't be doing that. Ooh. See, that time, me getting the blame makes sense. But he can do whatever he wants, and he gets off perfectly fine. Scot free. See, this one gets straight to the point. Oh, Mr. Burns is behind all this. Evil spying is so like him, that wrinkled old monkey skeleton. Another nice reference there. I forget which episode it is, but there is one where he is referred to as a wrinkled old monkey skeleton. They try and cram in as many references as possible. This game is practically a love letter to The Simpsons. That's just all the more reason to love it. This game does have problems. The frame rates are being consistent. There are a few glitches here and there. I had a real ish, uh, weird thing happen with a, a police car. Which is a vehicle you unlock later on in the game. And it, its graphics were glitching out. And I was thinking, it's going to be a fun let's play. But, um... I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. So far it's been a bit more stable. Yeah, Marge is at the grocery store now. Sometimes they shop here, sometimes they shop at the Quickie Mart. They're inconsistent. Mr. Burns is spying on everybody. We've got to follow him. Not now, Homer. A new violent video game has hit the streets. And we need to get rid of it before it warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game sounds awesome. And therefore should be destroyed. I guess. Honestly, Marge. Bit extreme. I'm going to stop violence by being violent! Is pretty much her tactic there. Bone Storm Storm. Hit the delivery truck and collect the Bone Storm games before time runs out. So this is our first mission where we need to... This is our first of two Kaiser missions. So firstly, it's the first mission where we need to ram into a vehicle, which does nothing to our hit and run meter, thankfully. And collects an object that falls out. So we need to collect 10 boxes, 10 crates of bone storm games. Woo! 
but this is also our first mission where we take control of another car. Now you can't get out of this car, otherwise the mission will fail if you're too slow at getting back in. It's again, the second, second timer is a lie. I'm not sure why the back of the truck is open. It only works if you knock into it though. If it knocks into anything else, nothing falls out. Sometimes it can be inconsistent on how hard the hit needs to be. Like sometimes you can very gently tap it and an object still comes out. Other times it doesn't. I've got to be aware that sometimes the objects will appear on the other side of the vehicle. But these missions are generally okay. The ones I don't like are when you're actually following a vehicle and they drop an object behind that you need to pick up. And all of a sudden he runs out of petrol. Yeah, and then you off-screen them. If you off-screen them, they disappear. But yeah, this is one of a few missions in the game where we actually take... We need to use a different character's vehicle. So you can't choose anything else. You have We have to be in the Canyon Arrow. And we can't get out. Kids would play more video games about sharing. Bart, you know I abhor crazy plans. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go spy on my boss. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. Alright. So, unfortunately, our car is gone. So, let's go and call it back. Oh, uh, what have I not used yet? Oh, the duff truck. Can you come and get me? I'm certainly not using this for the next mission, but uh, we can at least drive to the power plant with it. Sexy, everything about you so sexy. Hey guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Simpsons Hit and Run for the PlayStation 2. Now, we are in, well, firstly we're playing as Casual Homer, and somehow the Duff Truck not only went backwards, it also went sideways. But we are almost done with the first level of the game. There is just one more mission left to do. So, we need to get to the power plant parking lot, which is a very long way away and one of the slowest vehicles in the game, but heck, I haven't shown this one off yet, so why not? Let's crush a kid while we're at it. And you. Oh, I missed. Oh, I got her there. That cemetery, that section of the cemetery is only available in level um, 7. It's a level 7 exclusive. There's no way of getting in there unless you... I'm sure some sort of person has been able to glitch through the wall somewhere. Don't know where. Ah! Yeah, the Duff Truck is just there. It does appear in a, a, a I think it's level 6 that we do later see the Duff Truck in. Level 3 or level 6, it's one of them. And it does become, uh, it's another one of those missions where we need to knock into it. Other than that, the Duff Truck's just here. We've seen the surveillance van. You can control, you can drive the surveillance van whilst chasing it. They go through an appearance change in the next level. But we're finally here. Wait, 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 wait. What did that say? I don't want to accept the vehicle. Come on. Come on. Still better than my car. Come on. Nuclear waste. Boldness is sexy. Okay. And that plane's carrying a thing that says drink duff. Sadly, there isn't one behind it that says have another duff. Have another duff. Yeah, but now I guess it's a car. I bet I can't park in these. Does this count as triple parking? I need a better car. Because I sure as hell are not going to complete the final uh, well, mission with that cool. thing. So let's go for... Well, I might as well just go with this. Family sedan. It's taking a bit of damage. Oh well. One thing I've noticed is that the video games never seem to acknowledge that Marge has a car. You know, her orange car. She's always in this and Road Rage. She drives the Canyon Arrow. Oh, Lenny's here as well. Sorry, Lenny. Ow, I'm not supposed to get knocked by a car. Since you can't seem to do anything. If you get close enough to a character, they will always just stare at you. The car's eyes are creeping me out a little bit, actually. But anyway, what's going on now? Hey, Homer. 
You look like you're having one of your trademark adventures. Danger! Mr. Burns, mini cameras, black vans. Oh, good thing I'm drunk. Stupid drunk. Oh, no, he's going to warn Burns. I can't believe I'm racing the same guy twice in one day. I honestly thought that car was going to hit Homer in the cutscene there. It looked like Lenny was stuck. Anyway, the fat and the furious. Beat Smithers to Mr. Burns' mansion. It's a simple race. Get in your car as fast as you can because Smithers is immediately moving. Oi, Lenny, get out of my car, you weird freaking ghost. Yeah, sadly, we can't destroy it this time we're racing it. So let me get to properly listen to this music. Oh, oh, Smithers is taking the shortcuts now. I don't think I'm quite going to get the speed going to get over this. The tire fire, no, not even close. One of the quotes Homer says, if he falls into something like that, is he will go, Save me, Jeebus! But what really made me laugh was when he says after it, because it, it, it goes in like a set order. And after that, he'll go, Save me, Duffman! At first, I didn't know who Duffman was. I do now. And it's still funny. Duffman does not save those who enter a tire fires. Oh, yeah! It's how many Duffman's never seen in this game. And whenever you go off road, if for some reason first base becomes a question mark. I don't know why he needs to do it when you go off road. Look, it still works here. I'm not on the road there. So I don't know why it's only happening now. What on earth is going on with that car? I haven't even been near that one. He's just there. But that bit of road did count as off road for some reason. Bye, Patty. Bye, Patty. Come on. This is the. Uh... No, we probably. I think we came through here at least one once before as a mandatory mission. I think. For the uh, the rich area, most of the time we always have to go the other way. It's very rare that we actually have to go through this part as part of a mission. We normally end up going in the other direction. For level seven, it makes sense because we go. The, the space is off limits. But for levels. Level 4 plays a bit of a bigger role, but level 1, barely there. And I always used to think that Burns was wearing something in that icon, and it's his chair. But, uh, one thing I always found weird about pictures and artwork and here about Mr. Burns is his suit was always green. Whereas in the series it was like a really dark blue. It's it's more closer to this colour in, in modern Simpsons, but he always used to bother me. In fact, for some reason on the artwork for this game, Bart's shirt is blue. I've never understood why that is. T. Montgomery Burns, I know you're guilty. Jacuse! Sir? Fine, I admit it. I had Amelia Earhart's plane shot down. That hussy was getting too big for her jodhpurs. No! You're spying on Springfield with your black vans and surveillance cameras. Black vans? Hmm. Aren't they connected with some sort of pizziola concern? <laughs> what? They were only pizza vans! I'm a class five idiot. Smithers, release the hounds. And if this oaf is an employee of the plant, fire him at once. We're number one. We're number one. Well, I don't think Homer's job is really that much in jeopardy. We get to the new power plant level seven. It's never stated whether or not Homer's still fired. Yep. Yeah. 100 percent. If you ever want to return to level, you can use the mission select either via the pause menu or via your scrapbook. Let's get ourselves an empty save slot. We can save the game as we enter level two of the Simpsons Hit and Run. So I will see. Come on, hurry up and save. And I will see you guys then.